So we're in a room called the Drone Dome. We are performing a, a demonstration to show some robotic technologies that have been developed within the NCCR robotics program. And uh, we focus on rescue robotics, so developing systems that can help first responders to deal with search and rescue scenarios after a disaster. Basically, there was um, um, a disaster, like an earthquake, and basically the human search and rescue team arrive on the spot and they decide to actually deploy uh, robots. First, they will start deploying the flying robot because, of course, it doesn't get stuck with obstacles, and the idea now is to go and to deploy a flying robot that maps the exterior and interior of the building. It has some cameras on it, and it is able to navigate only using the sensors that it has on board and doing all of the computations on these single board computers. And now we switch to the symbiotic flying jacket and there you can actually observe Stefano that is sitting on the stool over there and we are, go we are actually mapping now the movements of the torso to velocity controls of the drone. Animal is a quadruped robot uh, that walks um, kind of like an animal. It has a bunch of onboard sensing and computing similar to the drone. It can operate autonomously and uh, sense and react to its environment and navigate through challenging terrains um, such as uh, negotiating stairs. In this disaster scenario for the demonstration, it uh, followed a path through the environment that was planned for it in order to be safe and efficient so that the ground robot could reach a victim as fast as possible. A user can wear two armbands that have sensors in them and give the robot high-level commands like move over there or look that direction. In a rescue scenario, it would allow the operators with minimal training to be able to control the robots in an easy and efficient way. A rescuer uh, is carrying in a backpack uh, a pack drone. It's just one single movement, hand movement, to uh, deploy everything. It has a protective cage around it, so it can be operated in a safe way. Inside of that protective cage, it can carry a small cargo. And so in this disaster scenario, um, we have it flying to the top of a building to deliver some medical supplies to people who are trapped uh, and can't get down to the ground. This robot, Croc 2, has a crawling locomotion like an amphibious animal. It can operate very close to the ground and fit through small spaces. And this is something we envision being very useful in search and rescue scenarios and also provide sensor feedback to the operators. The final robot we saw, this is a, a, a snake-like robot or, or a lamprey inspired robot that swims using um, this type of motion. This robot can also carry pressure sensors so that it can move through uh, smaller spaces and feel the environment that it's touching. The goal of the demonstration today was to show the integration of many of the technologies that we develop across all of the rescue robotics laboratories at the various universities that are part of the NCCR. We all are very interested in rescue robotics, developing systems that could be useful in challenging scenarios and to do things that humans cannot do or should not do. This uh, has been a, a wonderful experience to be able to, to work all collaboratively. And so uh, we all work somewhat independently, but we have common goals. And this provided us the opportunity to work together even more than we usually do to uh, make all of our, our individual systems work together in uh, a common scenario.